Hey guys, I'm Simpatos and welcome back to Frambo in the last episode. We dug up our parents. Uh, and then we uh, got captured and we ended up in this. We're in the fifth dimension right now where the darkness is. We just took this guy's soap and he asked me if I stink and I told him I did. And then I pulled this guy's teeth out and took his key and it's just a very strange, strange place. And. Well, it's just, you know, did I get a key actually? I did get a key. What's this door open? 102? Of course, of course, because 103 is the deadly door of blood and unhappiness. Hey, look at that cat! Look at that glove. Oh, that gl I need that glove actually. Can I have your... Can I have that? Uh, uh wh the wake-up clock. Perfect. What's in your what's in your back here, kitty? Back of a giant cat. Uh-huh. Ooh. Let me just... Can I go across your tail here? Exactly like Mr. Midnight. I need to find him. It must be for something important. What's going on here? Oh, here we go. Give me that glove, yo. Got a glove. Thank you. And I'm in an elevator. Let's push the button. Hi. Your eyeballs are on fire. I have a water balloon though, so it's okay. Blap! Oh, that won't do. Oh, come on. Let me throw... I got the brush. Here. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Well, uh, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? Oh, they did say these things would burn me in the fifth dimension. Like they're hot. It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, we just promise you won't burn me, okay? I don't- I only burned if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Yeah. Yeah, get that hair brushed. Oh, it worked! Yay! Get out of here, little fly, fireflies. What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifer. All Lucifers I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Hooray. How do I get the key now? It must be the key from the door. I can smell it. Can I whip this wire at it? Negative. She used to like this wake-up clock. Maybe I can take it. Ah! I took the wake-up clock. Victory! Victory! What the heck am I supposed to do with this cat? It must be for something important. Have a black wire. Oh, it worked! Oh, it's like a machine cat? I'm supposed to, like, do something with him? Here, take a... Take a light bulb. Back at the giant cat. What else can I, can I give you the glove? You want everything? How about this? Just, just, psh, want some soap? Can I just put everything in you? This bottle needs water. Oh, just put, put water in there. Crayons, you want crayons? Nothing, of course. <laughs> Guess I need to put some water in this bottle from what it's telling me, so. Let's do that. Alright, now I have a bottle of water. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's just amazing. Now we gotta go back here to the cat, maybe, and use the bottle of water on him? You like that? Yeah? I, th I think it, it's this thing. I think I put it, okay, piano keys, black water, one glove. Oh, I didn't give him the soap. Alright, you need the soap, sir. Uh, no, I already gave you the soap. Man, what, the hell am I, what the heck am I supposed to give you now? Not examine. Okay, the empty case. Working bulb, wake up clock, bottle of water, soap bar, one glove, black wire, piano keys. So the case. This? Maybe I just throw the alarm clock in here that I just got. Would you like the alarm clock, kitty? Uh oh! Something's happening! Whoop! Oh, it's the thing I was looking for. Sweet! Awesome. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. The ECOG clock is finished! Fantastic! What the heck do I do? I can't get that key. There's something back in my room. Anything in here that I can do? Oh, hey, I can look outside. Eh, this is pretty gross. Oh, come on, nasty creatures. Hey, I got a water balloon. You want a water balloon? I've been trying to throw this at... Oh goodness, I missed. Oh, come on, Fran. Hit him! 
Ah, almost. Poor tree must be. <laughs> oh, the Kamala's eating him? Alright, one more water balloon. We got this. Ayah! Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. He's like, no! Wow, I don't feel any sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. Oh, a stick. There, a piece of me. You can plant if you like. Hey, thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. Hope you find it. See you around. Okay, we'll have a stick now. Maybe that's why I need to get the key. Because I can't reach it. Maybe. I don't know. Sounds kind of... Kind of like a stretch, but, you know, <laughs> maybe I just need to stretch my arms a little bit and use the key. Let's go up. La 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 la. There's the key. And there's my stick. Use. Fantastic. I can reach it. Now I have the key. Oh, okay, good. Oh, I just... I did it! <laughs> okay, I reached the key. So now we can open the crazy bloody door. Right? Let's see. This key with a little nice pink bow on 103. Of course it worked. Let's get in here. Ah! Ah, yes. Just a bunch of crazy looking animals in this tree here. Creature from above, get out from Buckus Den, you're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat, and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka? For you, arrogant little advocate. How did you plan to wake her up, eh? With crazy ideas of Cogwind? Cogwind's a nice clockmaker, he's not crazy. Ah, so you know him, I assume you've been to a Thursday. Quite a place, I may say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you, your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty's waiting for me. But you guys, I don't scare me a little bit. It's like a twitchy little... That's a heart. Hey, piggy. Hello, boar. You having a lovely time? Hello, goat. You look a bit like Rimor. Are you cousin? You're much prettier, though. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, I gotta use my crazy machine I got on her, right? Take this! Spray your face! It's like, oh! Mm. Oh, be aware of Mabuka. Oh, wait. Be aware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Frambo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you. But what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Volacus from Prime Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Rimmer killed my parents. Mother Mabuka, can you imagine how it feels? I am all those feelings, Franbo. I am all the sinister. All the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from despair and fear. Then you don't care if Rimmer killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason, if it makes you feel better. Now I understand, it's the re now I understand the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Aww. She's asleep again. Let's go down into the heart. Uh, it looks like a nice place. Where this lady with babies all over, or... <sighs> what? 
What's going on here? Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. Do I know you from somewhere? You look, you took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle? Ah, did you stab all your little friends with it? What knitting needle? Are, are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Hi, you little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting room. Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. All right, so I guess I take a number. And number seven. And just wait. Uh, I hope I got a good number. Uh, what's to the left here? Is this the waiting room? Oh. I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days. He's number one. Ha! I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. But I have a number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I have been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That'd be the fastest. And by doing that, you could also help us all. Why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye is blind. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. <laughs> hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? This is a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I do... How to make a question softer? That's very strange. Have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps me sometimes. And impossible of talking sense to you. Of course you can't make sense to us. We're not the ones that sees it all. You're, uh, you've only known us for a few minutes. It's very little time to understand it all. Hmm, it's true, but I wouldn't be nice to... S wait, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps you to, to better understand each other. We do understand each other. Very, oh, wait, this thing, I'm just giving the same voice, whatever. <laughs> We're very well with uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who is one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. All right, thank you for nothing. Can I just like change this and make it go faster? Let's be the number display. Oh, I have number seven. It'll take ages to get there. Can I just trade numbers? Ah, do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Would it be possible to change our tickets? I have number seven. No, I didn't know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you give me your ticket? Sure. Uh, do, 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 what? I'll give me a ticket to find out what my illness is. Okay. Oh, maybe this guy knows. Can you tell me what illness creature is the ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me see. Uh, it's him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's a headache caused by low levels of agony in him. How is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Crying all the tears you can cry until you feel this bottle will do it. But don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm a very problematic point in my life. thought everything was going to be better and my kitty got home. Now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trust her. I don't know. I'm a buka and a selector or something. Uh, but she fell asleep again. I won't answer my questions. I need my... Kitty, Mr. Midnight, hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. Just want to find him so we can go back to the church and be happy. Oh yeah. Fill that bottle up, Mr. Crazy Eyeball. Lovely pain, so profound. Alright. Ball is now full of tears. Give it to the critter. He has your ticket. Time does not wait for anybody. Hey, go be going now. Goodbye. Wow. Look at me. Figured out something. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Go give him... Who has number two? This guy? I made this guy. Use on you. Won't work. Uh, use on you. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. Ha ha ha. How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest looks I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. There you go. Two. Nice. Thank you. Tears taste absolutely delicious. You're welcome. Guy. Yeah. So, trade me number two, please. 
Yeah, yeah, not really interested. Okay, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I guess I gotta figure out what's wrong with him. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, hey, the old girl's gone now. Hey, I got number two. Does that do anything for you? Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. <laughs> I'm not sick. I lost my key. I just want to find him. Lost key. Don't worry. That's natural reaction for your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. Oh, lucky. But how do I get an appointment with him? Oh, just call me. Here's the card with the telephone number. Are you insane? Call us. Must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? That'd be silly because now I'm waiting for you to call me. All right, I'll make the call then. There's a phone somewhere. I'll find it. All right, here is the phone. So zero, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, seven, six. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call you to make an appointment. Uh, this is Fran Bo. Uh huh. I'm available now. No, no, yeah, yeah, no. I have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, thank you. Bye bye. All right. So I've made my appointment. And maybe now I can freaking get to the end of the game. This, these tedious last minute puzzles. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Fran Bo's my name. And the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. Doctor will see you in a minute. Just go to the door to your right. All right, thank you. All right, let's freaking see what's going on here. Oh! I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look really, you, you look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. <laughs> Thanks. Ah. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're a Rimor. Rimmer. Remor, aren't you? I haven't gotten a chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dern? I enjoy immensely seeing you suff this, your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You were assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. No, don't corrupt me. Oh, snap! Oh, wow. No, it can't be. Stop it. So, I chopped my pants up? I look pretty happy about it, really. Pretty grotesque. Oh, he did anyway. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. <sighs> you look like you're really enjoying it there. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. Everyone is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Have a drink of water, Fran. It's it's okay. Take it with water. Good. Can I do something with that? No. Okay. Let's go in here. Oh, hey, doctor. Hey, my kitty, too. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you all right? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Oh, you talk to me, Mr. Midnight. Please, don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to your thirsty, my darling. Planters can help us. I promise nothing will tear us apart. Meow. Oh, kitty. You'll be alright. I must help Dr. Dern, alright? He seems to be in trouble. He does seem to be in quite some trouble. Are you alright, sir? 
Let's go wake up. Are you alive? Uh, what should I do to wake him up? There's a needle here. A syringe, a red flu inside. What can it be? Uh, let's, uh... Oh, I can kind of shock him? Well, I guess I'm just going to use a needle on him. Hey, maybe this will wake him up. I look... Oh, man. Stab him in the neck. Ah! Dang! What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dern. It's me, Fran. Oh, uh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bo, sir, from Oswald Asylum. We're here at the cemetery. Where we were at the cemetery, remember? Fran? What happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster caught you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. All right. It wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Oh, hey. Hey, we... But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her! Ah, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking to me like that? Who's this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother, what do you... How do you... Do you, do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. He's the guy that sewed the girls together. Oswald from Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend, the same old man. What? He's on the wall, too. Why do you... But how do you know about... Why do you know about my mother and my aunt? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucy and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Rimmer did a great job. His power to man of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding the knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Rimmer all the time. But why does he hunt me? Rimmer is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. Manifestation. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growing in strength, friend. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, don't be mad at me. We're family. Let's go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Okay. Let me just pull this. <laughs> what does this lever do? I uh, gave him a shock. Okay, we didn't kill him though. Whew. <laughs> Don't throw my cat off. What are you doing, Aunt Grace? Come on. Friend, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucy was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And everything will be fine? Of course. But there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Oh, kitty. No, no, kitty! She just threw my cat off the freaking world. Come on, friend. Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. Dang. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. Oh, I hate you. Oh, yeah. Stop it, friend. Help. Help. Please help. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster! Oh, man. Oh, man. I just got shot. Oh, my goodness. She's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What, what have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about friend, Dr. Dern. She was sick. She, she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child. The right brain. 
Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Oh, it walled! Whoosh! Force push! Yeah! You just killed everybody. Thanks! Oh, friend. Everything will be fine. Who, who are you? Oh, Itward. Sorry. I'm Itward. The one many children talk about. But, but, you're not human! Oh, hey! <laughs> Itward found him! Oh my goodness, stay away from me, the... Stay away from the girl, leave her alone! Hey, Mr. Midnight. Little friend must be cured. Uh, uh, excuse me. Do you think we can use the same body? Yeah, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go! Oh, Mother Mapuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. Wow, they are really excited about taking my soul or whatever they're taking out of me. He's just like, yes, yes. Okay. What happened? Oh, I'm alive. Am I healed? Uh, what happened? Edward, Plantris. My heart hurts. Mr. My Night How. You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fred, we must go now. Go, all right. Dr. Dern, look, this is Edward and Plantris. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? Oh, no. <laughs> he can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But he could come with us, please. He has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You finally seeing beyond your own desires. We are becoming one. You are becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Oh, thank you, Palantris. Yeah, take a hug. Now let's send Doctor Turn home. Yeah. Bye, Doctor Dern. Yeah, goodbye, Doctor Dern. Let's go now, friend. There's not much you. You must, you know, there's much you must see and learn. That sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I chose happiness. Or choose. Yeah! We all flying! So cool! Flying machine and my never ending story dragon. Yeah! Bam, 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 bam. Created by. Wow! Not a lot of answers there! <laughs> what the heck was going on at the end? Uh, 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 uh. I know two people made this game. That you're gonna show the credits for, for <laughs> everything. Ah, oh, man, my brain. Hmm. 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 So maybe the answer. To all this is that there just is no answer. Like, who knows what he was going to try to do with my brain? Apparently, I'm the the key holder, the key, the chosen one. Uh, I don't know. And then, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Edward showed up and killed everybody at the end. They. Sh well, at least, uh, like, I know now who killed my parents. Fran did, but she was under the influence of Rimmer. 
Remore. And yeah. But what was the whole thing about him telling me a story? Was it just a story? Everyone's part of the development journey as backers, emotional supporters, fan art artists, YouTube reviewer, and to you who believed in us. Yeah. And that is it. That. That is it. It's just, I'm just. I'm, I'm looking for answers, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the description below. What you think is going on here? If they, like, I don't know. I'm the gate guy, the keeper of the the worlds. I don't know. Anyway, uh, leave a like or dislike. If you dislike or like the video, it helps me either way. And if today's your birthday, happy birthday. Thank you for watching, Frambo. I uh, hope to uh, see you guys in whatever we play next. Until then, stay toasty, my friends.